So with the latest Minecraft snapshot, Mojang said that they're added the last feature now. So a lot of people assume that that means that there won't be any more 1.21 content, but that's not actually likely the case. So let's get into that. See, Mojang tends to have a different definition in the f past of feature. So if we take a look at last year with Trails and Tales, they, when they announced the Cherry Blossom Grove, they said that was the last feature in the article of the reveal. So that wasn't really the last feature, though, for a lot of people, because we would still later go on to see, receive more content for that update, actually, in the form of things like the Trail Ruins later on and plenty more items. But what they seemingly meant by that, what Mojang typically means by features is a larger system or a larger part of an update. So, for example, they added more things to archaeology, which was one feature. So they expanded further on it, and they still added more items that they didn't count as entire new features, like new pottery shirts and armor trims. So we could still be seeing more things this update, and that could be things in the form of Mojang expanding on the trial chambers, of course, adding new loot, new maybe new mobs is possible, but not very likely at this point. But my point is, is that there's a very high chance that we'll still see some new content for 1.21, especially for these few reasons. One, we still don't actually have the name for the update yet which is pretty weird at this point in development. And two, we're actually still on 1.20.5 snapshots. We haven't even gotten on to 1.21 snapshots yet. And it's only March right now. We actually still saw more major changes to Trails and Tales up until mid to late April last year with changes to the trail ruins and the music disc being added. So it's definitely early for this update to be done, is what I'm trying to get at here. So I highly doubt that it is. But the thing is, is that there probably won't be any, like, entire new features or systems because Mojang and the community kind of have different definitions of features. Like, people think of one new item, like an armor trim, as a new feature. Mojang would count, like, the trial chambers themselves as a feature, one that could still be expanded upon further. And, of course, we'll always probably see more tweaks, like in my latest video... I talked about potential fire charge changes to make it function more like a blazes projectile. We could still totally see that. That wouldn't count as a new feature by any means. Or the heavy core having additional uses as a projectile. That could also certainly still come. And there's more, especially things in that video. But there are things that are a lot less likely now. For example, biome or biome update. I know a lot of people were hoping for or expecting one in this update, but that's a lot less likely now because of this announcement. So I just can't see one happening. But there is one hope. One. And that's the 15th anniversary. That's, of course, happening later this year in May. I think the second half of May, to be more specific. Um, and Mojang is probably going to want to celebrate that in some way. Some people are speculating that could be with an announcement about the Minecraft movie. But I think there's a good chance that they could reveal, like, the last 1.21 feature then. So, like, a surprise biome update's really the only hope for that. Or... Something that would make a lot more sense is they reveal, like, the copper and tough golems, something that they know the community wants, 
and something that could smooth over some of the, you know, upsetness of the stop the mob vote controversy. So that'd be a good move on their part. And I think it's fairly likely that that's what they're planning. But beyond that, there's not a lot of reason to really suggest that that's happening. But there is probably something that is going to be revealed on the 15th anniversary. The developers did mention that this update is specifically celebrating the 15th anniversary back at Minecraft Live 2023. And so it could be a biome update. It could be a new mob. If we want to get really crazy, I suppose it could be the crab and penguin for 1.21 since they're probably adding the armadillo before that in 1.20.5 but i highly doubt that but maybe we'll see them later maybe but another thing that i want to talk about here is that 1.21 is still it's got a bit of a ways to go to really be caught up with regular minecraft updates like 1.21 in its current state would probably be the smallest Minecraft update that we've had in years. Maybe like the smallest in a decade, actually. So I think there is probably something more on the way, at least something relatively large that expands on the trial chambers since that's an already existing feature that the developers could expand upon if they want to. But there's probably just not a lot more coming in general. But not all hope is gone yet. I'd say there's a relatively good chance. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't think there was. But there's very likely at least some more content to come for Minecraft 1.21. But that is just about all I have to say here. There's also um, mobs. There's only really one mob in 1.21, the breeze. You could count the bogs, but it's kind of just a new skeleton variant, if I'm being honest. It does have some slight stat changes, though. But the typical number of mobs in a Minecraft update has been three uh, that got brought down to two in Trails and Tales. But there's a it this update falls short in that regard still also uh there's still no music disc so we can definitely expect that at the very least but other than that there's definitely gonna be some more changes and tweaks to things like the trial chambers because right now the update is the trial chambers that's the like entire update uh, and the crafter i forgot about the crafter a lot honestly but so if that is going to be the entire update mojang really needs to kind of double down their focus on it like right now does the mace that's really the only unique functional loot of the trial chambers uh, oh and the wind charge but if that trial chambers are going to be the feature of the update they should have a bit more unique functional loot to them I think. And that's something that they could still add as it's not an entire new feature. It's under the feature of the trial chambers themselves. But that is all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. I'm trying a new recording style this video in case you couldn't tell. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye.